Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are. It's your boy Fat Crypto, and today I'm doing a technical analysis on Elrond. If you're new to my channel, I do coin overviews, technical analysis, trading series, finding hidden gems, basically trying to be a one stop shop for crypto information. I'd like to point out a couple of things before we get started. Number one, I am not a financial advisor, and none of what I say or do is financial advice. Please do your own research before investing in any of the projects that I talk about. Number two, if you are interested in buying some Elrond, I recommend buying through the Myra app. If you'd like a referral link down below, please be free, please feel free to use it. Um, I recommend buying and storing Elrond in the Myra app primarily because by storing it in the Myra app or the web wallet, you'll be able to get free MEX and MPAD tokens. If you want more information on that, do check out some of my other videos on Elrond. Um, I'll leave a little, some links in uh, a pinned comment so you can check them out. Uh, also, I've got a Binance link down there. So if you want to buy through Binance as well, feel free to use that link. By using that link, you'll be able to get 10% of the commission that Binance take of each of your trades given back to you, as well as giving 10% to me. A win-win if you ask me. Finally, I'm putting out videos in 1440p. So if you have a 1440p display, be sure to check this video out in 1440p. The option isn't currently available. It's most probably because YouTube is still processing it. It takes a lot longer to process 1440p videos. But once that's available, be sure to check my video out in high quality, literally and figuratively. But yeah, without further ado, let's get into the video. So I know I have a very solid Elrond community. I mean, I, mean, I posted a video yesterday um, about some of the tweets that Benjamin Minchu made, um, the CEO of Elrond, and it's blown up, right? At 1.5 thousand views or something in a day, which is insane. Uh, less than a day, rather, um, which is insane. I, El the Elrond community is strong, uh, and a lot of you seem to love Elrond, so I'm going to keep posting Elrond. I'm going to post as much Elrond as I possibly can to keep you guys informed. And um, also, I love talking about Elrond anyway, because it's a fantastic project. But yeah, without further ado, let's get into this technical analysis. So I highlighted this in my last technical analysis that we have formed this very, very, very substantial symmetrical triangle, right? And it seems to be following it pretty precisely. Uh, I've highlighted it in my last video and we've maintained within this pattern, right? We can see the bottom trend line. This is the BTC chart, by the way, this Elrond BTC chart, right? People seem to disregard the BTC pairing, but it's so important because it basically indicates whether it's better to hold Bitcoin or the altcoin, right? And we can see we've been basically trading sideways within, well, this ascending trend line was a very strong support since the 3rd of January. You can see how it acted as support on numerous occasions here, here, here. And we're currently, when I zoom in, you can see how we are holding support exactly on this line, right? I highlighted this. If you think I'm lying, do check my other video out. I highlight this there. We can also see how the top line has been a very substantial resistance, right? And this is indicating a breakout on the 28th of May, we could start seeing something very, very interesting from the 28th of May, right? When we look at the USDT chart, it's not looking great. I can't lie, right? This very, very strong trend line, if you've watched my other videos, you know, that we've been trading, this was a, a support on numerous occasions, right? Here as well. And we were finding support here, but we have broken below, which is obviously not nice to see. Um, we came down, we retested as a resistance, and we have carried on moving down. We are currently establishing support on that 0 0.5 Fib level at $141. I have bought more Elrond, if you're, if you're asking me. I have bought more Elrond. I bought more ra roughly around here. I found we were establishing support on that 0 0.5, um, so I bought more Elrond. Uh, am I saying it's it's going to start going up from here? No, not at all, right? Um it could carry on dumping, but I saw this as a very good. I said, if it, whenever, as and when it drops to one hundred and forty dollars, I will be buying more. So I bought more. Um, so what I'm going to do right now, because we are be below these uh, regions, I'm going to change these both of resistances, and I'm going to highlight key areas that I'm looking to buy from now. Right. So from one hundred and thirty dollars to one hundred and thirty three dollars. I haven't changed any of these regions, by the way. So be sure to check my other videos out if you think I'm lying. But you can see how it dropped down and it wicked exactly on the edge of this box before getting eaten up, jumping back up, finding resistance exactly in my next region. And we are trying to find support on that zero point five fib level. Right. Whether it hold or not, only time will tell. Now, coming further down, we can see that 0 0.382 Fib level marks my next region, which also coincides from $118 to $123. Heavy support on the way when we're below, resistance. When we're above, support. 
support, right? A lot of support here. So if we do get to these regions, one, I'm opening up my wallet, buying some more Elrond. Um, but I would like to think this would hold. If we do break down further, I have this ridiculous buy zone from $65 to $101. Since breaking, we found some resistance within this region, but since breaking above, we've only seen wicks into this region, right? It gets eaten up so quickly. So if we get to this re region, you already know that, that wallet's opening up, right? So where am I looking for resistances now, okay? So there are some key resistances. We're in one right now. You can see how we're finding re resistance as we are speaking and Bitcoin's dumping, which isn't helping matters. Um, but this that's what I mean. This is not Elrond price action. This is Bitcoin price action, right? Obviously, you, I'm sure all of you are aware with Tesla and Elon Musk's tweets and what they've been doing to this market. It's not nice to see. Um, but this isn't Elrond price action. This is Bitcoin price action and its effect on the altcoins, right? So... Right now, we are finding resistance here, right? And we could take it further back. This was a strong support, right? A lot of price action within this region, so I'd expect some resistance. We are finding some resistance now. If we break through this region, I'm looking towards the $159 to $165. You can see on the way down, this was a support, right? Numerous occasions there's where this was a support and also occasions where this was a resistance. Support here, support here, resistance here. A lot of price action within this region. You can see how this wick came just in, bounced back up. So if we get to this zone, I would expect some resistance, right? After this, obviously this long standing support is now a resistance, right? It was a support on so many different occasions and we got rejected from it here as a resistance when we did break below. So this will this is going to be a strong resistance. There's no two ways about it. I mean, yes, if, if Elrond is looking bullish, we could just break above, start establishing support and move up primarily because this was caused by Bitcoin, right? This support was holding until Bitcoin decided to dump, right? So one thing to consider, this will be a substantial resistance, right? Above this, I'm looking between $178 to $184, right? We can see resistance, support, resistance, resistance. When we break above, trying to find support on numerous occasions, a lot of price action here. So yet again, I'd expect some resistance here as well. Now, my next area of resistance is from $193 to $199, right? $200, obviously going to be a strong resistance. But as we can see, resistance, resistance, where we broke above, trying to find support, failed. Resistance yet again, resistance here, resistance here, taking it further back, resistance here. When we broke here, trying to find support, right? My next area of resistance is from $207 to $217, also coinciding with that one fib level at $217. Um, this is a substantial resistance. We can see how strong of a price rejection we had when we hit this region initially, marking those initial all-time highs. And we found resistance on our way up here. And it was where we was trying to find support when we set new all-time highs before Bitcoin started dumping and causing the rest, right? So the final resistance region is from $227 to $238. This marks the candle closes for the all-time highs. Very, very substantial resistance. We can see that double top, which after which we've had all this negative price action, right? Uh, taking a look at the indicators on the daily, I mean, it's not looking ideal. Obviously, like I said, Bitcoin price action has caused this, but we have broken below that 100 day simple moving average, not good and retested it as a resistance, right? So that 100 day is going to be a fairly substantial resistance. You can see how it's lining up with this region of resistance here from 159 to $165. We can also see that the 10 day has crossed below the 50 day simple moving average in the blue, the 20 day simple moving average in the green and the 20 day exponential moving average in the white, right? Not looking good when a shorter time frame crosses below a longer time frame, usually indicating bearish movements, right? In the short term. So we could potentially, you know, see further downside action. I mean, although we have, you know, when this crossed, we have seen some substantial downward pressure already. So maybe we have bottomed out on the 0.5 but only time will tell. We could potentially go down to test these two regions. If we test this region, you know, you'd think I'd be sad. I'm not because I'm opening that wallet up and I'm buying en masse. But uh, only time will tell what exactly will happen. We can see that the RSI is reaching the oversold region. Very, very close, right? 37. And 
you guys already know, if it hits the oversold region, it's usually a good time to buy, right? And if we look at the last time it hit these levels, it's the 20th of October 2020, right? It hasn't hit this level in a long time. So even if we do carry on dumping, I do think it will be momentary. Uh, I think we will start moving upside very, very soon, especially with the fundamentals looking so so good, provided Bitcoin behaves himself. That's the key here. If Bitcoin starts dumping further and goes into a bear market, then obviously, I, I, I'm not saying that's what's going to happen, but you know, I'm just giving worst case scenario. I highly doubt it's, we're going to we're in a bear market right now. But say that did happen, then obviously we can expect some more negative pressure for Elrond. Yeah, that was just a quick technical analysis on Elrond. I hope you enjoyed that video. If you did, feel free to like, comment, and subscribe. If you didn't, do dislike the video. Let me know why you dislike the video so I can actively improve. But yeah, it's been your boy Fat Crypto, and I'll see you in the next video.